YouTube, what's going on, man? It's your boy, Booba, and welcome back to another play review on the channel. I hope you guys are having an incredible day. In today's video, we're going to go ahead and check out the new Make Your Mark SBC card for Timothy Weah. Weah is a 93 rated card. He has high, high work rates, right footer with four star skill moves and five star weak foot. Now, from the get go, man, I just want to go ahead and say that I love the versatility with the card. As you guys know, at the start of FC24, a lot of people were using Weah in the evolutions. So it's really nice to see him have another special card. He can play the right mid, right back, left back, and right wing positions. And honestly, boys, with the way that the card is set up because he does have high high work rates you can maybe even go ahead and incorporate him as a box-to-box -box midfielder if we go ahead and look at his in-game stats in a bit more detail we can see that the card is extremely well-rounded he is hula gang with the lowest stat being 87 for his physical the 97 pace is going to be a huge part to his game he does have 96 acceleration and 98 sprint speed if you do go ahead and play him in in, in a wide position i think that down that right hand side he is going to be absolutely electric now if you do want to go ahead and use him in a more advanced position the 90 shooting is also going to be a really important stat and for the most part, his shooting stats are quite good. 89 attacking positioning, 90 finishing, 94 shot power, and 89 long shots. I think that the 92 passing and 92 dribbling are going to be two really important stats for the card, especially if you go ahead and incorporate him as an overlapping fullback or as a right mid. He does have 95 vision, 92 crossing, and 97 short pass. I think that you're going to be able to create a lot of chances with him, especially when you go ahead and pair that with how smooth he is going to be on the ball. 97 agility, 91 balance, and 90 reactions. Now, because the card has so much versatility, the 91 defending and 87 physical are also going to be two key parts to his game. He does have 92 interceptions, 88 defensive awareness, and 92 stand tackle. If you go ahead and implement him as an overlapping fullback, I think that those are some really good stats. And then the 87 physical might be an area to go ahead and improve with the specific chem style. He does have 92 stamina, which is solid, but then only 86 strength and 80 aggression. Now, if we jump on over to Footbin Boys, we can see that Weya does have 11 different play styles. He has the whipped pass, quick step, and intercept play style pluses. And all three of the play style pluses that he does have are really effective for a right back or right mid and then he does also have the power shot ping pass tiki taka rapid flare trickster relentless and trivella so a lot of really useful play styles that are most definitely going to add to his game he can have the controlled controlled explosive and mostly explosive acceleration types and when it comes to chem styles boys honestly it just comes down to how you want to go ahead and use him in game i think if you want to go ahead and play him as a box to box midfielder or as like an overlapping fullback the sentinel chem style is a really good option the sentinel is going to give him the controlled explosive acceleration type we're really going to help out with the defending and physical giving him 90 and 91. Now, if you want to go ahead and play him as an overlapping fullback, I do think that the backbone is a really good option as well. With the backbone, he is going to have the controlled explosive acceleration type. It's going to really help out with this passing, giving him 94 with 99 vision and 95 long pass. And then it's also going to give him 96 defending and 91 physical. So you can most definitely expect him to be very good going forward while still providing that defensive cover. As always, boys, if you guys do enjoy these FC24 play reviews, go ahead and do me a huge favor. If you guys can, leave a like on today's video and also consider subscribing to the channel if you are new. It would be greatly appreciated. This is a team we're going to be using in division rivals to test out the new way of card. We're going to be playing him at the right back and center mid positions in the 4-3-2-1 formation. So without further ado, boys, let's go ahead and jump into game number one and let's see how good this card really is. Alrighty, boys, here we are jumping into game number one. And in game number one, we're going to go ahead and play him at the right back position in the 4-3-2-1 formation. Now, first things first, I do want to go ahead and test out the card's dribbling. Now, the dribbling stats overall are really good. I think that the only letdown maybe is the fact that he has four-star skill moves. But other than that, man, really good dribbling. And we are going to be using him as an overlapping fullback. I want to create a lot of chances with him, especially with the whip pass play style plus. Very early on in the game, I'm just going to go for a switch. Timothy Wea, good attacking positioning. I try to whip it in right there. I think it maybe took him a little bit too long to get it under control. I mean, a little bit of manual defending right here. Down. The manual defending should be very good with the card, especially with how quick and swift he is. Araujo with a good block. Wea with really good reactions to pick up possession for us. Now, very early on in the game, I do want to maybe try to go ahead and get him in behind. So right here with Havertz, I'm just going to go ahead and send it long. And Wea with the whipped pass play style plus, you should be able to create a lot of chances with him. Yeah, boys, the sprint speed is really good. We're going to whip it into the back post. The cross maybe could have been a little bit better, but again, really good attacking positioning. We do have a little bit of space with him. The left stick dribbling is really nice. We're just going to try to maybe create a chance. And I will say, man, he is very quick with the quick step play style plus. Decent physicality right there. The cutback could have been a little bit better. I really like the fact that he has the quick step play style plus. Definitely adds to his pace. Now, as you guys know, he does also have some pretty decent passing stats. So I'm just going to go ahead and try to send it long. And that's a lovely ball into Havertz, boys. That is incredible. Going to take a touch, go for a shot. And that's an assist, man. So his long range passing with the backbone chemistry style is a lot better. And again, man, we just come back to the same thing that there's a lot of versatility with the card and that you can create a lot of chances with him. Good attacking positioning right there. I'm going to go for a 
No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm going to go for a finesse shot right here. Get the lucky rebound. It's unlucky, man. Unlucky. I thought about going for a power shot right there because he does have the power shot play style, but it was already a little bit like of a tight angle. Havertz. Could maybe try to get Havertz in behind, test out his long range passing some more. Going to go for an over the top through ball. Five star weak foot. Lovely passing again. Kai Havertz. Gonna go for a shot. Okay, we'll take a corner right there. Now we do have a corner. We're just gonna go ahead and play it short. And I'm pretty sure Weya is gonna be right here. Yeah, so we'll go for a power shot. Timothy Weya. It's a decent attempt. I do think that he has some pretty decent long shots with the power shot play style. You can incorporate that from time to time. Now this might be another really good opportunity to test out his long range passing. So I might just try to get Berardi in behind. The left stick dribbling's been good. Play down the line. And his passing has been really accurate, boys. You can create a lot of chances with him. Berardi with a finesse shot. I'm pretty sure he moved his goalkeeper, but the shot wasn't that great either. This guy's actually been quite defensive. I'm going to whip it into the back post, maybe. It's a good ball into Declan Rice. Go for a shot. It's a lovely finish, man. Timothy Weah with the whip pass play style. Plus, his crossing has been really good. Timothy Weah. We need good defending right here. Nice, man. That's a really good tackle. I think that the backbone chemistry style is working so well with the card. Wea. I'm just going to go for a long ball. See what happens. I'm just going to go for the switch. Timothy Wea. It's a great ball, man. His long range passing, honestly, has been so good, boys. I didn't expect it to be as good as it is. Rafael Lau, Trivella near post. That's a good finish, man. That's another assist. All right, boys, we are jumping into game number two. And so far, so good. For 120,000 coins, I think that you're getting a really solid player with a lot of versatility. We're coming up against Mbappe, Pele, Olise, Zidane, Messi. It's a very strong team. Now, in game number two, boys, we're going to go ahead and switch it up a little bit because I do think that he would make a really good box-to-box -box midfielder as well. But very early on in the game, we're just going to go ahead and play it over the top. Timothy Weah, I'm gonna go for a power shot, see what happens. Timothy Weah, it's a decent attempt, man. His attacking positioning has been really good. Now, the one thing that I really like with the card so far is that he is most definitely a threat going forward. He's very well balanced. Gonna go for like a fake shot right here. Timothy Weah, edge of the box. Little step over, that's nice, boys. Good acceleration right there. I think I probably should have released the pass a little bit earlier, but we took another touch, that's on me. But again, man, the chance creation is most definitely there. He's gonna go for a switch, so we're gonna track back a little bit with Weah. As that center mid with the intercept play style plus, he should be very good at breaking up the play. With the quick step play style plus, after you do like the little step over, the acceleration is really good. He hasn't really tracked the run, so we'll go over to top Timothy Way. I mean, good attacking positioning again. I could just go for a simple pass. It's a really good ball, man. He's going to get himself another assist. Honestly, as a playmaker, has been really good so far. Oh, he's gone for an offside trapper right there. Really interesting. Havertz with a little bit of space. I'm going to look for the cutback right there because Weah is in a little bit of space. Touch into a power shot. It's good, man. It's good. If my aim was a little bit better right there, I think we find the back of the net. Lau, nice. Wea, almost playing like a center forward at the moment. The attacking position is good. Good left stick dribbling. Five-star weak foot. It's a good finish, man. The left stick dribbling in and around the box has been really consistent as well. The finishing can be a little bit better, but he can still bag you a few goals. Now, with Wea, he does have the average and lean body type, which is actually a pretty good body type to have. And looking on Google right now, uh, the USA and the Copa America, they do play against Bolivia, Panama, and Uruguay. So he definitely has the potential to get a few upgrades. Wea. The manual defending has been really good so far. And that's a in really good interception, man. Love the intercept play style plus. Through the middle. Oh, he's gone for an offside trap right there. But how we don't have the physicality to get away from Zidane, I'm not too sure. Declan Rice, Rodri, Wea. It's a really good run, man. Those runs from the center mid position have been so consistent. I could go for a finesse shot. Yeah, finesse shot on your post. That's my bad, boys. That's my bad. Great run forward. I probably should have put a little bit more power behind it. He clears it off of the line. I will say, though, that his finishing is a little bit inconsistent. If you want to go ahead and have him be a little bit more of a goal threat, if you want to play him as like a right wing, I would probably recommend a chem style to help out with his finishing. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That is us using the new Make Your Mark Timothy Weah card in a few games of Division Rivals. And to be completely honest, for 120,000 coins, you're getting a card that's really solid in-game with a lot of versatility. Now, if we go ahead and dissect his in-game stats in a bit more detail, we did go ahead and give him the backbone chemistry style. So his passing, defending, and physicality were a lot better in-game. And I just feel like he's a very well-rounded player. Whether you play him as a right mid, whether you play him as a right wing, right back, or maybe like as a box-to-box -box midfielder, I think that he can play all these different positions really well. Now, I do think that the 97 pace was probably the standout stat for the card, especially with the quick step play style. Plus, down that right-hand side, he was very, very difficult to catch up to. Now, the 90 shooting, if you do want to go ahead and use him in a more advanced position, I would go ahead and recommend a chem style to help out with his finishing because it is a little bit inconsistent. But I do like the fact that he does have five-star weak, but definitely adds to his attacking game, especially when it comes to his passing as well. With the backbone chemistry style, he does have 99 vision and then also 95 long pass. And I will say that his passing was extremely accurate in-game, especially with the whip pass play 
playstyle plus. The 92 dribbling, a really important aspect to his game. And I will say he was very quick and swift on the ball, especially with his 97 agility and 91 balance. I think that the only letdown for the card when it comes to his dribbling is the fact that he does have four star skill moves and that he doesn't have the technical play style. But other than that, man, he is very smooth on the ball. Now, though 91 defending and 87 physical were two really good stats for the card, especially if you go ahead and use him as an overlapping fullback or as a center mid. He does have the intercept play style plus. So if you do want to go ahead and use him as a box to box midfielder, I think that it's a really good position for him. He's really good at breaking up the play, advancing the ball forward and creating a lot of chances, especially from that center mid position. And then last but not least, boys, the 87 physical. Now with the backbone chemistry style, he does have 90 strength and 88 aggression. And I will say, I mean, he's pretty strong on the ball, but I expected him to be a little bit stronger. Overall, boys, I'm going to go ahead and give the card a 9.2 out of 10 rating. I really enjoyed using him as a right back and also as a center mid. Now, in order to complete the SBC, it is an 84 and an 87 rated team. So you're looking at around 120,000 coins. And honestly, I, th I see him as like a cheap beast. The one thing that I absolutely love with the card is that all three playstyle pluses that he does have are really effective in game. He does have the potential of getting a plus two upgrade as well. And there's a lot of versatility with the card. The card is is extremely well-rounded and I feel like that he can play any position down that right hand side and you can also go ahead and incorporate him as a box-to-box -box midfielder now if you can't get him into your starting 11 I do think that it's still a really good SPC to go ahead and complete just use him as a super sub in off of the bench I think when your opponent's team is a little bit more tired if you go ahead and sub him on in like the 60 70th minute he can make a serious impact so if you do have the fodder if you are looking for like a cheap beast type of player I think that way is a really good option and I would highly recommend them but that is going to be the end of today's video if you guys did enjoy it let me know by leaving a like comment down below what player you guys would like to see next in another player review and then also consider subscribing to the channel if you are new it would be greatly appreciated thank you guys so much for watching thank you guys so much for clicking on today's video i've been your boy booba and i'll catch you guys in another one very very soon peace